Hey everybody, Teresa here from Inspiration Cards and I'm back with our third card for this month's Stampin' Jammies online card class featuring the Quiet Meadow stamp set. I hope you've been enjoying the cards so far and we do have one more to go after today. So let's flip this around and get to some stamping. So here's this week's card. And this time around, I thought I'd do a little collage stamping. This stamp set really lends itself well to do that with the different sizes and variety of images that it has. So what you're gonna need for this week's card from your class supplies are large piece of crumb cake. So again, just half a sheet of eight and a half by 11. You'll have three pieces of very vanilla. One's teeny tiny and then two larger ones. And then you'll have one piece of mint macaroon as well as some linen thread. Okay, so to kick us off, as usual, I always like to start with folding my card base in half. There we go. Okay, and so now I can set these pieces aside. And I'm gonna grab the largest piece of Very Vanilla first. This is the piece that's gonna go on the inside of the card. Sometimes I've done the smaller floral images. This time around, I thought I'd do the large flower on the inside, completely up to you. And on the inside, because I wanna bring some of the mint macaron from the outside to the inside of the card, that's why I chose to use that color on the inside. I always like to bring in the one of the other colors so that both colors are reflected on the inside and the outside of the card. All right, so there we've got that piece there, actually. So let's set that aside to dry and we'll grab the next largest piece of Berry Vanilla. And from here, what we're gonna do is we're going to stamp the, um, <laughs> the flowers on their stems. So not sure what, how you would actually call that if there's a better way of saying that. All right, so I'm just going to grab a little bit of ink. I don't need to ink up the whole piece. So we're actually just gonna stamp partial images. And I'm just gonna rotate the image. As we go around. There we go. All right. So there's our, our next floral image. All right. So I'm going to tuck this aside for now. Close this up. And one of the things with collage stamping is you want to mix up not just the images, but also the colors as well. So this time around, I'm actually adding in a little bit of crumb cake um, to tie in with the card base, of course, um, but also some petal pink. So I'm gonna grab that large floral image again and just fill in some of the holes. All right, so when you're doing collage stamping or you know something similar, um, I always find it easiest to stamp the large images first because then you can fit in the smaller images in the gaps much easier. All right. So that's what it for the petal pink. So for our last piece here, we're gonna pull out the crumb cake and the paint splatter image. Um, and here we go. So I'm just gonna fill in some of the gaps that we've got. And so I'm just gonna strategically place the images just to fill in all the spaces here. And every once in a while, just give it a rotate. So you kind of mix things up a little bit. And then once you get into those, those tighter spaces in the center, just give that stamp a clean. And then just pick a side of your, of your stamp and just partially ink that. And then don't so don't put all your weight down onto the stamps. You don't want to stamp fully flat, even though that's usually what we want to do, right? Because we just want those little speckles to, to come through. 
a little bit up here. Again, we're just kind of filling in the spaces. But we don't want to fill in the spaces. We don't want to overlap our images too much. Although some people, when they do their collage stamping, actually do that. So completely up to you. So there we go. And then for our last bit of stamping, set that aside and you grab your smallest piece of very vanilla right there and your mint macaron stamp set one more time, ink pad, I mean, <laughs> and grab the, I thought for this one, thinking of you would be nice. You could also use the you're too kind phrase. All right. So just gently going to tap that. There we go. All right, so that's it for our stamping. So I'm gonna close this up, there we go. All right, and I'm gonna pull in our other pieces here. Okay. So we can start assembling here. All right, so that largest piece of very vanilla, as I mentioned before, is gonna go on the inside of your card base. So whatever your go-to adhesive is, there we go. This refill is having a little bit of fun on me. There we go. So usually I find if I just give it a give it a twist, let it catch up, then usually we're okay. I might have to do that a couple of times, but in the end, everything gets stuck. All right, so we've got our piece on the inside. So the mint macaron is going to be your card mat. So good. Just whatever your go-to adhesive is. And usually this does not give me this much trouble. So I might actually switch to my liquid glue. There we go. Always nice to have, you know, a spare refill or, you know, a backup adhesive for just those occasions. Because goodness knows, if you've been crafting for a while, you know this is going to happen at some point or another. All right. So before we stick our last larger piece of cardstock, I'm going to grab your piece of linen thread. And I'm just going to take that and we're going to wrap it around. our card base. Okay. And this time around, I'm actually going to grab, I'm just going to grab a glue dot and I'm just going to place it where I want my knot to go. So I'm going to put that right there. So just off to the side, I'm just going to grab a little bit more thread on this side here. As Leo makes his way through. Oh, there we go. All right. So just make sure when you when you use a glue dot, just make sure you put um, give a firm push on that piece so it stays put. Oops. With me and knots today are just not getting along. All right. See if third time is a charm. There we go. There we go. And again, just stick that back in place. If it shifts a little bit, that's okay. All right. So now that I've got that in place, I'm going to grab my liquid glue here. There we 
magic out. There we go. All right, so that'll hold that in place. There we go. And your phrase is just gonna go off to the, the right-hand side with just a couple of mini dimensionals. Now the linen thread is fairly thin, so you could also, if you want, use a couple of the um, the original larger dimensionals to hold that in place. I actually like the minis when I'm doing something like this because it kind of goes in and around the thread or twine. So then it actually sticks a little more evenly that way. There you go. Now, as always, I do have a, another sample using the same um, stamp set. So this time around, so I've got that same phrase, that thinking of you, and I'm using it with a few of the different dies that coordinate from the, um, the Meadows die set. And in the background is just a piece of the fancy layering designs um, designer series paper from the January to June mini catalog. It's a really fun bit of vellum. I, I'm actually really looking forward to using some of the other designs. And I love how the, um, the, court, the die pieces just kind of pop out and the, the vellum just kind of offers a nice, soft, subtle background to it. So there you go. I hope you liked this week's cards. And next week, like I said, I'll be back to share one last card using the Quiet Meadow stamp set. For next month's Stampin' Jammies online card class, I'm going to be sharing the Dahlia Days stamp set. This is such a fun stamp set. I'm excited to share it with you guys. Now for the full class kit, which is $75, you get the stamp set, one ink pad, some coordinating designer series paper, and of course, all of the class supplies and shipping anywhere in Canada. If you've missed out on the deadline to sign up for the full class kit, that's okay. You can still get just the class supplies for $25 and that also includes shipping anywhere in Canada. For either of those options, all you have to do is send me an email at inspirationwithteresa at gmail.com. And in the meantime, you can check out my other projects that I share on social. I'm inspiration cards at both Facebook and Instagram. And of course, if you have any questions about Stampin' Up, paper crafting, scrapbooking, or anything of that nature, I'm happy to answer any of your questions. So you can drop a comment below or send me an email. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you soon.